Kit, incoming. Not gonna let us go without a fight. I don't know how this is going to end. I will help. Come, stand near me. No, Moshai. Save your strength. That's my decision to make. Sorry we fought. <sighs> what we saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, so now you value what I have to say. I did what I thought was right. I'm good with that. You'll understand then when it's time for me to do what I think is right. So the facility, what's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I, I... I can't. It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes. But why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny. Annihilation. Yes. And yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. 
Oh, no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed. Like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me, hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefa. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. I'm in the tech lab, Pathfinder. Oh, I can't just keep asking. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. I got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Looks like you're stressed. I don't want to add to it. No, wait. It's, it's just... When will Helios realize what it takes? The cat steal what people are. Hitting that facility on Vol should have united us. So I reached out. Trying to get resources moving in a real way. Bridge that gap like I did with Jar. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all. Can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Are you sure it wasn't how you phrased the question? Your talk with Jaw was indelicate. They said as much back on the Force. Another thing I left behind. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner, 20th century. British, from when that mattered. My whole family worked it together, weekends, <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends in Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... 
Well, imagine if it was Sarah. Sarah's old enough to take care of herself. I still feel my sister's my responsibility. I'm all she has. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way? What's the problem? Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. Or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Take other, other species' genes. Asari, take other species' traits. PB, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. <sighs> Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. They're no longer Angara. The cat changed them into something else. That's the atrocity. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Jal? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? Crumbling won't help anyone. I agree. We have to be strong. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was, am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is 
Not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. Callow, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. You know what we saw back there, right? This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you. And everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at him, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. This is really getting to you. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder. Or whatever you like. Nothing phased you, does it? You always bounce back, smiling that smile. Like you know it's just what I need. You're important to me. Is that so strange? And sweet, too. What's a girl to do? I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. 
Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the Ket. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Back again? Gil? O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. What can I do for you? I'll let you come. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated, and remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The Lick Test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Old orbit is steady. Just drag on the ship. At least it keeps Aya hidden.
stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play to a crowd. <laughs> She's the most high. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. For the record, I found her. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. The sooner I learn what's special about that place, the faster I can fix Eos. Then get on with it. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jol has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Bad news. Your supplier, Keldo? The Ket got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. You have his supplies? Keldo ran weapons for the Resistance. You were his contact. Good, good. Continue. Ephra asked you to test me. See how I'd handle myself. And I told him you were smart. The Ket had your weapons. I got them back. Yes. All of them. And kill those killers dead. This is good. You're honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. I'll tell Ephra you did well. How many more of these tests do I have to pass? We don't trust outsiders. But maybe we can work with you. Need to get the weapons where they belong, but... Keldo would want me to help you. I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? Think I'm getting the better deal. All you walk away with is a number. True. But who knows what that number will be worth someday. My inventory is open to you. Anything you need.
Hello. Pathfinder, analysis reveals this plant to be fruit-bearing. Can we eat it? Unknown. If we find more samples, I can transmit the data to Dr. Tapero for testing. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble in my fine. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renarth. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Increase your odds of survival. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Goods for the home, tools for the field, supplies for all your needs. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Goods for the home, Understood. tools for the field. Please supplies visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be Goods unfortunate home, if you accidentally violated our laws. Supplies for all your needs. Pathfinder. Doing okay? When trouble Even comes calling, will you be ready? Why my army would open so many doors. I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. We have to be careful not to trade away too much of what the Nexus needs. Trust me, I'm running everything by cash. New clientele is always welcome here. Have a look. I'm sure you'll find something to your taste. Can't hurt to be prepared. Maybe you've got something I'm looking for. If I don't today, I will tomorrow.
The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that. You didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the Ket. What can I do for you? I'm hoping you can get me on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Ket alone. And neither can your initiative. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Ket left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassals so everyone could enjoy this place, if only for a short time. The Vassal? The time of change. Aya's resources are too limited for our entire population to live here. We each earn the privilege of spending a few years on Aya. When our time is up, we leave to make room for someone new. The cycle repeats throughout our lives. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. So, what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no. That isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, 
But our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control just often enough to maintain my own. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? Just one. My sister, Sarah. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. Pathfinder, I'm Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from I's people. I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. research going on here. You know, the more I interact with the Angara, the more I feel for them. Especially with what we know about exaltation, I can't imagine. The Angara are resilient. Learning what the Ked are doing will give them new purpose. Well, I'm determined to help them. We need to make things right. really is something. Avela thinks it's an ancient deity. Something about it calls to me, like a friend. Oh, it's you. I watched you land. Hope you're not calling me it anymore. You heard that. I apologize, I, I was ignorant. What's your job around here? Aelin and I help Avela with her studies. I specialize in restoration. So you make relics look new? Do as I can. I'm not a miracle worker, no matter what Avela says. She'll praise Ellen and I to anyone who will listen. I've never had a supervisor like that before. I'll leave you to it. I've heard so much about you. Is it true you entered a vault on Eos? Sure is. Amazing. I would have liked to see that. I'll let you get back to it. Welcome to my favorite place in the galaxy. Good to see you again. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Start. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. This is quite a place. It feels like home to me. Sometimes I think I should move in here. But it's got a long way to go. Someday we'll fill it with relics of the past, each one telling a story. And my people will come here to learn. And to remember. You'll get there. With enough hard work, yes. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? 
I'm no younger than you, and you're a Pathfinder. I kind of inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. 14? That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I should get moving. Come back soon. Ryder, I took a look at the plants you sent. Good news, they're edible. So we can grow them on the Nexus? Not just these. If the genetic makeup is similar, most of the food on Aya could be edible. But I need to be sure. Get a sample of fruit from the market. around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Well, you are a bit of an eyesore. Speak for yourself. When I saw my first human, I couldn't understand how you keep your blood inside. Skin that thin. Changing tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful, half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. Welcome to the Tava Town. Feel free to order a drink, or if you're hungry, we have nutrient paste. Not as exciting as fresh fruit, but you'll like it. What's in that stuff? In short, everything. Nearly all the food we grow goes straight into processing. We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. Even ship some off-world. If we used your system, we'd never have a food shortage. If you want, I can send a few samples to your ship. Your people can study it. The Nexus would love that. Consider it done. What does Tavaton mean? My translator won't pick it up. It depends on the context. If it's a person, it means an old friend. If it's a location, like this, it's more... a place you could bring someone home to. What if you need to meet your Tavaton at the Tavaton? It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure your language has its quirks. Don't get me started. I'd like a drink.
That's all for now. We'll come back anytime. You are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angaras. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Danfre. Biological researcher. This is my home. Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. I have a scanner too. Seems only fair you let me go first. That's ridiculous. It's my final offer. You're bold, Pathfinder. All right. Scan me. Angar and skeletal structure, muscular formation, and organs are optimal for thriving in harsh environments. As previously discovered, they can also generate and discharge bioelectrical energy. All done. You're interesting. So are you. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. I learned you were coming. I prepared a date pattern our laws regarding war. Learn them. Move Dean Vay on to replace them. No, six and nine is too unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. At our moment, three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kit, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. They say they're close to taking down a kit outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Getting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. 
Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. I expect you to take good care of Jarl out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility, that... exultation. The more we understand the Ket, the easier it'll be to hurt them. The more I know, the more I want to hurt them. What do you need? What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. You've been fighting cat a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ked ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ked aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military? Just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How did you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? I a police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think of your governor? She governs Aya. Not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her? She holds her own. Not many do. I hope the Initiative is making a good impression. The Initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening. Like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say. At first. We're not invaders. Of course. I'll let you get back to it. Good.
No entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged ion gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. I'll get moving. Ishari. Good to see you. Wish I could join in down there. I could use a workout. Let's go over this again, everyone. Center, ground, focus. That's how to harness your ability in combat. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commander training. We're the aliens. For some Ingara, we're the only humans they'll ever see. That's huge. Whatever happens, we'll make a better show than the cat. I saw a few Angara crying on my way here. I wonder if they heard about exaltation. I wanted to stop and say something. But what can you say? I'm starting to wish I'd brought a chair. Pathfinder. Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Anything I buy will be used to fight Cat. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that. brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is what's different. Tell me, what do you see? 
The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people. And mine. The Archon is a menace. And I've had it with being lorded over. going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. <laughs> 